Hey there everyone, my name is Lynette Proach. I am a solutions consultant over at Trimec. In today's video, I want to talk about how to create offset reference planes inside of SolidWorks part files. All right, so let's talk about first these reference geometry or these planes that we're going to be adding, right? So sometimes when you're modeling something, you don't have the surface that you need to, to create a sketch or anything like that. So we need to add some kind of reference geometry. Uh, so I'll have the plane that I need to start with, right? So to add some planes, let's go to our features tab and then reference geometry. There's multiple types of reference geometry that we can use, right? Planes, axes, uh, points, there's a bunch of different options here. So of course we're gonna go into plane. Now with reference planes, SolidWorks isn't going to hold your hand and tell you, hey, insert a number here. Or, hey, click this button, you know, make this choice. What it's asking for is up to three references. And depending on what kind of reference we give it is going to uh, change what kind of reference plane we get. So we can have things like coincident planes, which we've done videos about before. We have things like if I choose two different planes, it'll give me a mid plane in between them. But for an offset, which is what we're going to focus on, all I have to do is actually just choose one flat surface, right? So again, I don't need all three references. As long as I have one, doesn't matter which one I grab. SolidWorks is immediately going to guess, hey, this is going to be an offset plane. Okay, so this is cool. We can type in whatever distance we need. So let's say, hey, let's go at half inch. And just like that, if I hit OK, I have now created a reference plane that is offset from that original surface. So we can take a look. And we have that offset half inch plane. So now I can go in here and create my sketch on this or you know, use it as an end condition. We have that reference point. Let's go back. I'm going to undo. And let's look at some of the cool things that we can do with the offset command as well. All right, so again, all I need is one feature or one flat surface. All right, and I want to point out this guy right here. This is really, really useful if I need to create multiple parallel planes, just offset, you know, one right after another after another. So what this is saying here is, hey, how many planes do you want to create? How many of these offset planes, you know, half an inch away from that surface you selected, do you want to create? Right? And if I bump this up, we can see the preview. We can actually just in here, create five reference planes. Okay, this is really useful if I need to you know, create a skeleton of something that I'm going to be lofting. It's also really useful for the structure system, uh, the new structure system features. If you want to have structures go by plane, right? If I use my structure system, I can have those inserted in here. Okay, so again, offset, when we're creating offset planes, it's one of the easier ones. It's only one surface, as long as I have one surface selected, I tell it the distance and we can easily insert that plane. The last thing that I want to show is something that's pretty cool. Uh, if you are not using your keyboard to do keyboard shortcuts, you are missing out on being able to model very, very quickly. One of the functions that SolidWorks added in 2022 was the Q key. And if you hit Q, we have these, uh, our starting planes, right? Those top right and front plane that you normally always start with, unless you're, you know, you manually, cha manually change them or your template is different than straight out of the box. So if I want to create an offset plane very, very fast from one of these origin planes, if I hold down the control key, left mouse click on a plane and then drag, we can see I just created an offset plane without having to open any features, without having to do anything crazy. I was able to go and just hold control and drag one of those original planes. If I right mouse click, it will add it. Right. If I hold control, left mouse click and drag on another plane, 
I immediately insert an offset plane. This is cool because again, if I need to add some more references, right? If maybe this is something a little bit different that needs to reference this plane, I can go in here and then make a mid plane. Using the control key is a very fast way to go in here and make edits uh, to my to my features. I hit OK. And I now have a mid plane in between plane seven and the surface. All right, so that is your five minutes to create an offset plane uh, using the reference geometry command. If you have any questions about this or anything else SolidWorks related, please reach out to us at Trimec. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to, to talk it out. All right, have a great day.